In today's video, we're going to be renovating the Bloxburg starter house. So I've seen a bunch of people do this trend, but the thing is they go overboard. They add walls, like too many walls, too many rooms, and it's a completely different house at that point. So the only rule that I'm going to be using in this video is that I can't add or remove any of the existing walls. So firstly, we have to buy the house. Oh my gosh, look how many plots I have. I've literally become a house hoarder at this point. Happy home of Robloxia. I didn't even know it was called that. 7,500 for that. We shall call her Roslay Boucle. I, I don't even think that's how you spell Boucle. Okay, whatever. Oh, and here we go. Why is there water? Literally, what is going on? Why is the house flooded? Okay, what is going on? Okay, the water's gone. So let's have a look at what we're working with. Okay, so as we can see, the Bloxburg Start House doesn't really have that much detail on the outside. It's kind of just like really basic. And then if we make our way inside, we just have a little dining area, a pretty spacious kitchen. Like for your first starter home, I'd say this is a pretty decent kitchen. Like obviously I'm not a fan of the colors. And then over here is a very crammed lounge room. Also this wallpaper is awful. It's scaring me. I'm scared. Back here we have the bathroom and I'm pretty sure this starter home is only one bedroom, one bathroom. So we're not going to add any more walls. We're just going to leave it the way it is. And then here is the bedroom. You know what? The bedroom is actually pretty spacious. So yeah, the starter home has a lot of potential. And I'm thinking for the theme, we can have a luxurious house because I haven't really used like a luxurious theme in a Bloxburg build before. So I think it would be pretty fun. And I don't know. We'll see how it goes. Okay, before anything, let's just delete absolutely all the furniture. Okay, you know what? We'll leave the welcome mat for nostalgia purposes. But everything else is gone. Gone, gone, gone. And yes, this roof is going. I never want to see this roof again. And because we aren't deleting any walls or adding any new walls, we're just going to leave it the way it is. Okay, and I think that is everything all deleted. So we have a fresh slate to work with. So first things first, we have to paint these walls because this is not cut in it. Who picked green and yellow? Because like it is a luxurious house. House, maybe we can have like a white concrete and then this little section here can be like a stone gray Also, I want to make sure the windows and the doors are at the same place. What's like a luxurious window? Oh, there's this one. That one's kind of nice Okay, we can have one there and then one here. Okay now to give these windows a bit more texture I'm gonna add curtains to them so we can add these like wide shutters like that And we're also gonna have a little like walkway here and it looks like it actually added new grass So we can have this like road grass like this. I think I'm just gonna stick to this gable roof Oh, wow. Okay. And then I want a little balcony at the front here. Oh my gosh, we can use the new color palette to pick which green we want. Look how cool this is. Actually, I feel like this path is too ugly. So what we're going to do, we're just going to use these long carpets instead. Okay, I feel like this welcome mat kind of looks ugly. So <laughs> we'll keep it. We'll just put it on the inside. Because it is a luxurious house, darling, you're going to have some luxurious landscape. Boom. And then for the roof, we'll just stick to tiles. And then maybe underneath this roof can be planks like that. Okay, now to give this house a little bit more depth, I'm just going to go around and add these plain thin pillars and make them the same color as the roof tiles. This way, it just gives the house a little bit more depth. Like this is what it looks like without them. And this is what it looks like with them. And you know what? I'm going to do my favorite build hack. I'm going to add little flowers underneath the windows. So to do this, you just add an oak shelf and then you resize it. And my favorite part is you put these really pretty potted hanging vines like that and there you go you have a cute little potted hanging thing outside of your window I don't even know what you'd call it but it's cute and I love it and it costs $2,400 but it's okay we're giving the starter home the much needed glow up she deserves and then we'll just fill this garden with a few plants here we go there's our little garden and we love her okay now for the door I'm not sure which door I want to add actually we'll probably just do these traditional doors because it's kind of the same theme as the windows and also before I forget we might add a chimney as well so so maybe back here we go that's kind of cute okay now for the fun bit which is the inside oh my gosh I forgot how awful the wallpaper is in here we're just gonna stick to very cool tones so lots of whites maybe some gold accents as well and then we're gonna have our own custom-made wallpaper and of course it wouldn't be a luxurious house without massive wall trims I'm talking huge I'm talking these huge robust crown molding oh and we'll also add these wood palings and we can change them to like marble and yes we're also going to add wall trims trims inside of the bathroom because we're fancy okay that's the entire house all colored now we can work on the fun bit which is the furniture okay so what we're gonna do is add these modern reveal doors but we'll add them really close to each other so it kind of looks like one door like that but technically it leads into two separate rooms okay so first things first we have to do like the little entry area oh my gosh I feel like this plant just screams luxurious okay so we gotta keep in mind this is technically gonna be the dining room so guys what we're gonna do 
is we're gonna build my iconic coffee table. Guys, this coffee table should have a name. Like the amount of times I use it in my builds, I feel like we should name her. What should we name this coffee table? You know what guys, the top comment in my comment section for what you guys wanna name this coffee table, I will start naming it that in my videos. So you know what? Pick your winner in the comments now. And then for the chairs, yes, we're gonna use the most expensive traditional dining chairs. And you know what? We'll have four chairs because you, you know you never know. We might have some friends over. And then we can paint them white. Oh, white and gold. That that is what I'm sticking with. Then, look at them chairs. Them chairs are calling me poor in like seven different languages. And in the middle of our luxurious dining table, we can have some luxurious fruit. Okay, now to make this stand out, I'm gonna add like a chandelier on top of the dining table. For example, I feel like this suspended chandelier looks really nice, but it is super bright, so we're gonna have to change the color. Oh, this hurricane gray is pretty cool. And then we can either make it gold or white. You know, I'm gonna do something like that. That looks kind of nice. Okay, and I feel like this wall is missing some stuff, so maybe we can just have like two paintings here. Because it is a luxurious house, you don't want it to be too cluttered. Okay, that looks kind of nice. And now we just need some curtains because we don't want any peep and toms. Okay, wait, I'm testing something out. Okay, out of them two, I'm picking my winner. Eliminated. Oh my god, you know what I love about this new wheel update is you can change the shade of like black and white. And this is too black, so you can kind of go like that. It's, oh, I love it. I feel like we got the dining room all done. Now we can work on the kitchen. Oh, I forgot to remove this doorbell. But you know what? It's fine. We can keep it. Okay, now for the kitchen. Now what I like about this kitchen is that there's like a little nook here so we can fit the fridge. Okay, and then for the cabinets and the pantries, they can be like this nice modern ones. You know what I find funny? I actually never use these modern pantries. Like it's very rare that I actually use them. And then for the counters, again, we'll just stick to these modern ones. Now we just need a fancy little stove that we're never going to use. Wait, you know what? I just thought of something. What if I have a black kitchen? Because black Black's kind of luxurious, right? Like, we don't just have to stick with white. You know what? I'm gonna try it. <gasps> oh my god, wait! That actually looks nice! Okay, okay, and as you can see, this black's too black, but if we go on the color wheel and kind of lift it up a little bit, it's kind of this off-colored gray and it looks really nice. When I get my own house, I'm getting a black kitchen. Now, because this is a luxurious theme, we can have these like LED lights that go at the back of the kitchen. And we'll also add them like up the top here. And then for storage, we can have these oak shelves and we can stack them with like cups and plates and then add more LED lights because we're insane, okay? Okay, so tableware, we can add these cute little mugs. And then up here, we can have some plates and we'll just leave that top shelf empty. Okay, and you know what? Because it is a starter house after all, you know what? I'm gonna add the OG pizza box. I have to. And every starter home needs a pizza box. And you know what? I'm pretty sure we even have room to add a little island bench here. As you can see, a regular island bench looks way too big. So what we're gonna do instead is add this industrial console table at the end. And then obviously, as you can see, it's still pretty dark in here. Maybe this geometric chandelier on top of the counter. Okay, so that's that is the kitchen done. So now we can work on the living area. Okay, so what I'm gonna put in the living area is a fireplace and then like a TV on top of the fireplace. This simple carpet fits the space like so perfectly. Oh, look at this new texture wood. That is so pretty. Okay, so I would usually use this corner lounge, but it's like very tight. So I might just add like two separate lounges instead. Then we can just add like a little coffee table in the middle. What's like a nice coffee table? Oh, there's this one. Okay, I think the lounge room's looking pretty good and there's a little like empty space over here so I might just add some books. You know what nothing screams like a curious house like a $200 reindeer. Okay there we go I think that is the first bit of the house all done. So the bathroom is actually very tiny we don't have a big area to work with but it's okay we can still make it work. So I might add the toilet over here. Oh my god guys an elegant toilet paper stand. It's kind of like awkward spacing to work with but maybe if we put the shower here and then we can put the sink over here. You know if I wanted to I could have just used Bloxburg's pre-built showers but that's too easy. So I'm just gonna build my own because we're fancy like that. First, this little bathtub and then a shower head. We can add this basic insert and put some shampoo in it. Bada bim, bada boom. Okay, and now to break this room up, we can just add a wall here and then put a window on top of it. Okay, boom. Look, look at that shower. Finishing touch, we need a mirror. Okay, there we go. Why does that kind of look like Mickey Mouse? Okay, we have the last room, which is the bedroom. So we'll work on the closet first because I already know what I'm gonna do. Okay, so what I'm gonna do instead of a door, I'm just gonna put a door frame so it kind of like opens up the space and then we can just add like two of these like that and we'll just stick to like white and gold for the clothes hashtag luxury luxurious luxury why why am i struggling to say luxurious luxurious
luxurious. Okay, now in the corner here, I might just have like a little guitar or something. It is a room after all. It needs some like personality. Okay, and now typically I would use a double bed. The original Bloxburg starter house only had a single bed. So you know what? That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to stick with a single bed and I'm just going to use this one here. And then we can just put these like traditional lamps right there. We might even put some like designer books on the side of the table. And I don't know about you guys, but I always have my water bottle next to my bed. So we can add that there. You know what? I feel like this wallpaper is making the room too dark. So I'm going to change it. And you know what every luxurious bed needs? Luxurious pillows. Like I'm talking big European size pillows. And finally, we can just put a little blanket on the end of the bed. And then on this side, we can have our little desk. So we can just have like a book and maybe a coffee mug. What else? We need some pens. And you know what? We'll also add like a laptop on the corner just in case they want to, you know, watch my videos while they're studying. Okay, now finally for a finishing touch, we're just going to add like a massive painting. Oh my gosh, guys, it's a luxurious house and I didn't even add these fancy paintings. Okay, a fancy painting for the fancy house. Okay, the new and improved luxurious starter house is all finished. Here's how the outside turned out. Honestly, I can't believe this was the original starter house. Like that is crazy to me. I really love how this garden turned out and this looks so homey. Okay, so first things first, we have the entry area slash dining room. I think this dining room looks so cute and I love how the chandelier hangs over the table as well and like lights up the place. So yeah, you can just sit here, grab a banana. I would unironically live in this house if this was the starter house. And then coming over here, we have the kitchen. Now I thought I would do something different with the kitchen instead of just sticking to white, which is what like the rest of the house is. So for the kitchen, I kind of went with like a dark luxurious feel. I love how this little island bench turned out. I think it was pretty cute. I love this little pizza box, okay? It wouldn't be a starter home without a pizza box. And then here is the living room. So I decided to add two couches instead of one big lounge because there wasn't much room to work with. And as you can see, I done custom wallpaper at the back here just to make it look more realistic. Okay, now making our way into the bedroom. So as you know, the Bloxburg starter house only has one bedroom and I made sure to stick with the same theme. For example, I didn't change like everything around too much. Like I made sure the bed was still in the same place where the original starter home was. But yeah, this is how the bedroom turned out. It's not my typical theme. Like usually I don't really like whites but because this was a build challenge I think it was pretty on theme and I really love how this closet turned out as well okay now coming to my favorite room which is the bathroom I felt like it just fits the vibe so much I don't know what was going on here I don't know why this looks like Mickey Mouse but like the shower right here is so pretty I feel like it's definitely a luxurious vibe and I'm definitely going to use this build hack more in my builds <laughs> but yeah that was me renovating the Bloxburg starter home into a luxurious home if you want to see me renovate another Bloxburg starter house make sure you hit subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!